Hello my lovelies, um, I hope you're okay. Uh, welcome back here to Busy Bee Budgets, where we're on a journey to be a, a bit more intentional and a bit more conscious with our money. Um, and this is my week two cash stuff of February. So I know for most people it's almost the end of February, but um, my week two runs from the 17th to the 24th because of um, when I get paid. Um, so we're gonna be doing week two cash stuff um, today of 180, so not too big. But what I did wanna show you is I've started to, um, well, I've added another binder, basically. And I don't know about some of you guys and where you are on your journeys, but I feel like the more I do this, the more I'm like, oh, I could do this and do this. So I've got some savings challenges and I've got a new binder. Um, so this is my new binder. Um, I like a, a croc theme, as you can see. Um, so I went for the blue this time. And I actually bought this off Amazon and the, my other binders I bought off Etsy, but um, I bought this off Amazon and it was £11 and it came with all the envelopes, it came with some stickers which I've used to um, for the front and uh, lots of other bits and pieces. So um, I'll leave a link in the description below because I was kind of quite impressed and um, obviously you know, I know Amazon's evil but sometimes it needs must. Um, so what I've done for this, this will be a sinking funds folder for basically bills for the new house um or even this house if we're still in this because for those of you who follow my channel regularly you know the saga of the move has been going on for a while we're into month six and it like it doesn't look like it's going to get resolved quickly so um but regardless um so what i've been doing for the last couple of months is i have been putting money into a rainy day fund um ahead of the house move so our bills for our new house will be about two thousand pound more than they are in this house and so I've been putting that extra £2,000 away. Firstly, to get me used to paying that out for bills every month. Um, and secondly, that's now kind of funded a rainy day fund, which I'll kind of come on to in a bit. Um, but because it doesn't look like we're moving straight away, I'm going to have some more of this kind of extra £2,000. So what I'm going to start doing is doing sinking funds for all of the annual bills. So water. Um, so I've worked out what it looks like. I think each of these raindrops is going to be £25. Um, so these were from budget with Zoe. Um, so I've kind of roughly calculated. So each of those, uh, like a pair of raindrops will be £25. Um, so that's the water one. And that was a sticker that came with the envelopes. Um, bills, so this is for council tax. Um, and each of these uh, will be £100. So I'll start um, saving for those. Um, then also, um, I got all of these in budget with Zoe. Um, I bought like a packet, it was really good. Um, Electric bill, so each of the light bulbs is £125. Um, and then for gas, um, each of those is £150. Um, and so e for each of these, this will be like the annual, my rough estimation, obviously, until I'm in the house, I don't really know how much the bills are going to be, but kind of what I'm guesstimating. Um, and even if it's not quite spot on, obviously, it's going to get me quite a long way there. So the idea that being what I'll start to do now is for those extra money that I've got between now and we move, I will start to. Um, basically stuff these sinking funds um, with that and then uh, house insurance as well um, so uh, I know it says mortgage payment but I'm using it for housing insurance uh, my new property hopefully if we ever get there um, is a really old like 500 year old house um, with a thatch roof so the um, home insurance is really expensive um like the quotes we've had are like two two and a half grand because it's that and it's got fires and things like that so um obviously that's a much bigger expense than i'm used to paying at the moment so again sinking fund for those um and then um car new car sinking fund i've got currently one for car maintenance i've got one for car insurance um, and that would be for new car so um from march budget i'll probably start putting some money towards those which would be really good um, because those of you who may have been following my channel for a while, and thank you so much if you have, um, will know that at the beginning of the year what I did was stuff um, a lot of my sinking funds, my adulting sinking funds from a bonus I had at work. So it allowed me to fully fund all of these for the year and that just really made such a difference in terms of um, peace of mind really that like if the doo-doo hits the fan like all the grown-up stuff's taken care of and I'll be able to kind of um, do whatever and I think that's the major difference for me with this budgeting journey um, is I'm, like I am lucky enough to have a high income but I was spending it as quick as I was making it and this whole process which I've been doing for a year now has just completely changed my um, mindset and one example is this week I got a £400 tax rebate um, after my tax return went in and usually uh, that'd be like I'd spend that I'd book a little breakaway or whatever and um that's actually gone into my rainy day fund to kind of make that up so just shows you how now like 
doing this and being much more mindful has kind of changed my opinion on lots of things. So I've also got some new savings challenges. I'm waiting for a couple of other bits of happy mail, but um, I just want to show you the ones I've got. So I bought these ones from Budget with Beth, um, and I wanted something for my garden folder. Um, so uh, I'm gonna have like each of these is 10 pounds. So I'm gonna start with the flowers and then move on to the lemons. So I'll just pop that into my garden sinking fund and I'll um, fill off the, um, colour it in off camera just so you don't have to watch me colour because that's embarrassing for everyone, isn't it? Um, because I'm not the neatest of um, uh, colouring in, but that was it. I wanted something like gardeny, so I went with the flowers and the lemons. I thought that was kind of nice. Um, and then I um, set myself a challenge to um, raise £2,023 in 2023. I really struggle saying that. Um, and I've been looking for a tracker that kind of I could do that with um, and this one is from uh, cranberry co um and um if you fill in all of these basically um you'll save 2023 and the reason i liked this one was because a lot of the other ones were like specific months but because i'm trying to do this some side hustles and um other like selling stuff and whatever um i didn't want to do it just kind of the month so this allows me to cross this off so um over the last six weeks i've been on a major sort of selling thing i've spent um i've sold about 500 quids worth um so again off camera what i'll do is um color those in i'm keeping that in the bank at the moment because what i'd like to do is save that and not touch it for the whole year and get to that 2023 um so i'm not like physically cash stuffing it but um i wanted some sort of record of it so um that's what i'll do so probably what i will do is color all of those in and then put a placeholder in my envelope when i pop it in my binder uh, so I'll pop those over there. Um, and then the final one was, um, again, from April, if we ever move. Um, I'd like to start putting in, um, I'd like to max out my ISA. So to max out, I've got stocks and shares ISA and I'd like to put 20 grand in each financial year, which I know is a really big goal, but um, I'm comfortable now that I've kind of got lots of other areas of budgeting that I can really kind of focus on that. Um, and the idea of that is that that would be like really long term. So basically, essentially our like retirement fund I guess or if I needed a new roof because as I say the new house hopefully is that well it is that at the moment hopefully it becomes my house um and at some point in the next 10 to 15 years it will need a new roof which will cost like 20 thousand 20 to 30 thousand pound so the idea is obviously in the first year I'll kind of have saved the roof money and that can just sit there until we need it but then after that I'll be putting in the same amount every year for kind of our retirement and our like much longer term thing so again what this budgeting journey has switch me from I guess like a spend mentality and kind of money coming in to like really saving for that long term so I think I've got a financial goals one somewhere in here um so I had got a £20,000 saving challenge and um, but I'm going to replace it with this ISA one and pop that in there so from April that would be one that I start stuffing and then I'll use this £20,000 one uh probably for something else maybe our renovation fund uh which I haven't got a um envelope for yet but I may well get one so I hope that makes sense <laughs> made sense to me but yeah it was just um I think there's something really lovely about this whole organization process I've like commented on a few people's other videos this week and I think we're all kind of in agreement that like this process is just really good for getting your head around stuff and then I guess minimizing my anxiety and I actually like really look forward to like doing the check-in video and also just like spending a bit of time planning the week and like what I've got coming up, what I'm going to spend and all that kind of stuff. It just feels like much more measured, which I think is great. Right. Um, so we need to clear out last week's envelopes. Um, there's nothing left in food. Um, that's fine. Uh, fuel has still got 70, I think 60, 70, 80 in fact. Um, and I need to fill up, um, my tank, which probably will take the 80. Um, but then that should be fine for the rest of the month because I haven't got too many other big journeys. Um, socialising has got 20 in it. I've had quite a spendy week, actually. Um, I bought some clothes, um, which I kind of part funded from social and I part funded from my treat, treats envelope, um, which is like a result of a previous service, uh, savings challenge and my clothes um, binder. Um, and um, I've got a bit of a social weekend this weekend, but then it should quieten down. So I will stuff that today. So I'm going to leave that £20 in there because I probably need that. Um, I've got brunch with the girls, I've got a massage this week, so 
I'll need that. Nothing left in miscellaneous. Giving, I still owe myself £10, so that will get sorted today. And then fitness has got 30 What I'm going to do is take out the £10 because I want to start a, an envelope challenge. Um, so I'm going to put £10, but basically nothing else extra this week, uh, which is also fine. So let us count the cash. So I'm suffering 180 today, so 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 120, 140, 150, 160, 170, 180. So food is going to get 100, it's usually 100, so 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100, um, and we've got quite a bit in, so I'm hoping maybe that I'll have some left over next week um, for that, um, and what I always do is um, I buy a gift card from the Jam Donut app for Sainsbury's, which is where I food shop, and um, and then I just keep like £20 in just for like top-up shops like local bread and stuff. Um, last week was quite a big shop, but I did buy loads of toiletries and cleaning products. So again, I'm hoping that this week um, that kind of goes down. We've got some money left over. Fuel's getting nothing. Um, social spends is getting 50. So 20, 40, 50. Actually, I have 70. 20, 40, 50, 60, 70. And then that will cover massage and brunch, but not much else. So I think I might try and do a no spend week this week, just because I've had a couple of weeks which have been quite spendy. So I know I've got a couple of expenses kind of booked in there, but probably nothing else. Uh, Miss Lens is going to get 10. I'm out of 10s, aren't I? So let's swap some of these. So do that. Uh, so Miss is going to get 10. Uh, giving is going to get 10 but I owe myself 10 so what I'm going to do is take that out pop that back to bank um, and then I can get rid of that um, and then fitness is going to get uh, 10 so that is that cash stuff um, and although I've had um, a bit of spendy week on happy mail what I have done is created an envelope challenge so my other folder um, so I've started a new uh, a new notebook ahead of hopefully the April budget. So even if I haven't moved, I'll be moving my budget over to that. A, because my original budget book after a year is getting slightly filled up. Um, but also I was a bit like, new tax year, new start. Um, and even if we haven't moved by then, I'll be doing some different things like that. Um, ISA stuffing. So um, that's good. So uh, envelope challenge. So um, because I'm starting mid -week, midway through the year... Um, rather than trying to buy a tracker challenge, um, I thought I would just do my own in my um, amateurish style. Um, and although they've got values on, actually what they're just going to be is for weeks. So I'm just going to kind of do it like budget save grow, does it? Um, and just stuff whatever I've got at the end of each week um, and not be like trying to get to specific uh, values, if that makes sense. Uh, so this obviously is uh, week one. Um, so I'm going to in this uh, and then that's going to get £10 in there and the idea is that I'll leave this now until end of week 44 which will roughly be Christmas um, and then I can then decide what to do with the money whether or not it's um, stuff in sinking funds for next year because I really enjoyed doing that this year um, or uh, extra Christmas spend so I think to be honest with all my other sinking funds um that'll be okay so i'm just gonna keep it in this little tin i've got some of these envelopes left over from last year um so i'm just gonna do that so quite a low tech um envelope challenge but i think it's gonna work for me so thank you very much for watching um like i say i'm gonna try and do a no, no spend week next week just to kind of minimize stuff so hopefully there should be a bit extra to stuff into um, sinking funds and then what I'm going to do off camera is um, update all those trackers that I put in today um, and get that process going so thank you so much for watching I hope you have a good week and I'll see you in my next video all right take care